Hello, my name is Jeff. I'm living in Rayong on the eastern part of Thailand, two hours away from Bangkok, and sitting here in Yindi Coffee Roaster, the coffee shop that I, I started six years ago. Um, the reason I'm sitting here because I want to tell you my, my own story. Uh, I'm a Christian, been Christian for 25 years, and I am also a, a chemical engineer, been working with international company for a long time. Uh, I know engineering and running factories and also marketing. And I believe that God wants to use my talents to expand his kingdom. I've been thinking about uh, what to do with that kind of vision and dreams. How can I use my talent to bless the poor and serve the church and reach out to the community at the same time? Uh, after been trying several things and been through some failures, disappointments, I. Uh, lately, six years ago, I, I found uh, coffee growers in the north of Thailand and uh, realized that they grow good coffee. But uh, at that moment, I, I didn't drink coffee before. I, I knew that grew good, good coffee because I found their coffee in the international market in a very, very attractive price. So I, I guess that that coffee must be good. So I visited the village and uh, realized that they live so poor. So I, I could understand that something going between the coffee growers and the whole process until the coffee is sold to the customer. So I, would, I, I thought that if I would do direct trade, would be something that would help them. And also if I uh, run a coffee shop, it would be a mean to reach out to the community in a very low key. Thai people doesn't really want to go to the church. They believe they have their own religion, which is the best. Uh, as you know, they, they all believe in Buddhism, 95% of the country, I would say that. Uh, so inviting people to the church, they would say, oh, we will try someday, but it never happened. But most people uh, like to come to the coffee shop. And uh, coffee culture has really become really, really popular. So I, I thought that maybe running coffee business would bless the poor and reach out to the non-believer at the same time. And um, more than that, it would even fund the church. Because most churches in Thailand uh, since we have a Christian is a minority, so we do not have enough money to have our own church. Most churches rent property and uh, underutilize it, only use it on Sunday or occasionally on prayer meeting, like on Friday nights, like that. So if we run the business uh, that support the church, the, the business would utilize the building well more than just running on a Sunday church. So I put this idea together, supporting the church, uh, helping the poor, and also reaching out to the community together into coffee business. Uh, so uh, when, I, when, I, when I got that vision, I, I went into barista training course and coffee roasting course. From knowing nothing, um, I started a coffee roaster uh, over here in this building and moved the church from, uh, from the rent building to, to the coffee shop on Sunday. Uh, so it saved a lot of money from the church and also the business, coffee business grow from the first year we we roast 500 kilo of coffee. Uh, right now, it's grown 12 times after six years. It's 500 kilo per month right now. And uh, the the village that we help 
uh, from the very beginning until now is the Lahu tribe. They live in the north of Thailand. Um, in the village, there are about 50 families, 250 people approximately. Everyone grow coffee and tea, and they do, uh, they practice USDA certified organic. And after having some experience with coffee, I realized that their coffee is uh, really exceptional, it's quite good. I truly believe in uh, their coffee, and moreover, the whole the whole village is uh, is a Christian village. So, tell you a little bit about the story of that village. That village uh, was a group of Lahu tribe that migrated from the southern part of China during the the war against the communists. Uh, that tribe moved to Thailand because they, they don't they don't want to be under the Mao communism belief and uh, they 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 defend their uh, tradition and tribe but they could not resist uh, the power of the of the uh, army over there so they moved to Thailand and settled on the mountain but I guess by tradition they start uh, grow growing opiums on the mountain when they first settle in. Uh, so the first generation, they certain down in Thailand and grow opiums over the mountain. And the uh, first generation was not was not, not converted to Christian Christianity yet. So uh, the missionary reached out to them and uh, like changed the the tribal leader mind. He became Christian. So the second generation, they cut down the opium uh, and changed the field in, by growing tea. And they become tea expert. Uh, now, this, this period is the third generation because there's not much of the tea market in Thailand. They, they mostly sell it back to China. But because coffee is uh, more and more popular in Thailand right now, so they, and the third generation start to grow uh, coffee and tea and the whole village since the leader became Christian the whole village became Christian they had a small church on the village that uh, has has to like run for four services over Sundays and the last services I, I used to attend that service the pastor would look out of the window and preach I guess he was so so tired and wanted to go home uh, and with, with our business and it helped them to uh, kind of return dignity to them and uh, encourage them and support them, telling them that they have great product. We would like to help supporting them. As you know, human trafficking uh, uh, is a main problem in Thailand. Poor people move from their hometown, trying to find opportunity, trying to climb social ladder by coming in and work in the capitals or Pattaya and many other places that you may know and it end up like being prostitutes or get abused and exploit and used in restaurants like that or selling stuff on the street and did not have a chance to get home. So uh, doing business for them, uh, they can stay where they are and uh, well, be proud of what they do um, and we can we can say that we, we see the sign of uh, improvement over there by uh, the church right now over there that I told you that they, they ran four services on Sunday right now the, they have an, another building built right behind that old small church it's become a bigger one that fit all the village so now it's one service over Sunday after six years doing this coffee business with us. There's a lot of chance to grow. There's a lot of opportunity uh, to do more. Even over here in Rayong, uh, I feel like I'm, I'm in the growing stage by, well, my physically my body tell me like that. I Because it's just too, two people company, it's me and my wife that we've been running this
coffee shop six days a week and on Sunday we also pastor the church in this coffee house uh, roasting 500 kilo of coffee per month and uh, brewing coffee talking to people work long hours every day give us some stiff shoulders <laughs> right now we're praying for um, for help maybe uh, like get somebody in and to share who share the same visions and have the same heart to understand what why we do this coffee we don't just want to hire someone who will come in for money because it's more than money what we do is uh, a mission that we can help the poor reach the people in our community and also support the church we don't want to be a great big uh, coffee shop but we want to roast more coffee because the more we do the more poor would be blessed how we understand so I'm I'm running this coffee shop with my wife and occasionally my daughter would come back from Bangkok when she finished her schools over the weekend to help us so it's not really two two people companies I can say two part two like that <laughs> during the weekend yeah and we need more help some more um, machines to to help us to grow and then even more than that we have vision to to move out of this building because it's now become too small for our daily activities so hearing my story you can well ask for more by sending messages to uh, indie coffee at gmail.com or visit our web page uh, no Facebook page indie coffee roaster and send us a message pray for us yeah <laughs> buy our coffee visit us when you come to Thailand and come to Rayong thank you <laughs>